Thanks so much for popping on with us today. We're just putting a quick video together here for all of our friends that are speech language pathologists and understanding what your CPR requirements are gonna be for the workplace uh, with an understanding, of course, that you work with in speech pathology people and individuals ranging in age, right? From adult all the way down, could be to infant, especially at IUs and things like that. So again, with that said, you're always gonna to wanna to make sure at least in a standard base level uh, course, you're gonna have adult and pediatric, which covers infant and child, first aid CPR and AED for your licensing. Also, I want to consider, again, state by state, because these regulations vary, as well as your setting, right? So what type of setting do you work in a hospital setting, an IU, a private practice, things like that. Uh, they may have specific or certain requirements that they're going to ask of you as a speech language pathologist. So sometimes you might also have a requirement for a basic life support class, depending on the setting in which you work. Uh, but again, most times that standard adult and pediatric first aid CPR and AED program will suffice for you and for your license. Always want to make sure, of course, don't just listen to anybody and say, go do this, go do that. Do your homework, do, do, do your you know, due diligence, make sure that you're looking into your state licensing, what are the requirements, what are the continued education requirements. Because I can tell you now with an adult uh, pediatric first aid CPR AED course, what that typically comes with is six contact hours and a 0.6 CEU credential, as well as obviously the, go, the full training. So with that said, you wanna make sure you're doing your homework and you're looking through, uh, making sure you're getting the right type of program based on your setting, your industry, you know, where it is you work. The second thing to consider is who's gonna be training you, right? What organization are you training with? So this is typically gonna be done either by the American Red Cross or it could be the American Heart Association, which are the two most nationally recognized and accredited programs for your training. So again, as you're looking to sign up for these classes or if you're an organization bringing a company out, you wanna make sure that you have that type of training. So again, hopefully you found some value in that video, understanding the differences here. Appreciate everything you do with not just infant and, and child, but even up through adult as well. So uh, really value and appreciate everything our speech pathologists do. Anything I can do to help you, please feel free to reach out. There's some links below. Thanks and good luck.